Good morning. Let's put on my scent of the day today. You guys, I have found my new favorite perfume overall. And if you know, you know, Astro Place by Bond Number no. 9 has been my favorite scent for a very long time. And I just did not think I was gonna find anything to top that anytime soon, and I was wrong. A huge thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. I am currently obsessed with Less Than Paradise by Ex Nihilo. I have to get my hands on a full-size bottle of this. Like, this is insanely good. It has notes of pink pepper, lychee, peony, white cedar wood, musk. It's right up my alley. And it definitely gives me like those Astro Place type of vibes. I am obsessed. So here it is. I got a sample of it from Scentbird. If you don't know about Scentbird, you must be living under a rock. Scentbird is a monthly subscription that allows you to try different designer and niche fragrances for just $17 a month. And there is no better way to really find your signature scent than to have a Scentbird subscription. They're jumbo samples. They come in these cute little cases. There's the scent, but I'm obsessed, literally. I chose two of the scents and I let them pick two of the scents. So the ones that I chose were Less Than Paradise because I've been dying to smell this and, oh, it's delicious. It smells like Astor Place and Delina had a baby. Oh my gosh, those are two of my favorite fragrances. Like this is too good. Oh my gosh. And I have a few of their other ones, so let me show you what I got. They sent me one called Ocean Odyssey by Mason 21G. I have never heard of them before, but this one is so nice. It's very unisex. Leans a little more masculine in my opinion, but I love scents like that, so I do wear it and it's really, really nice. Very fresh, very oceanic, ozonic, like earthy in the best way. Like not earthy in a dirty way. <laughs> This one has pink pepper, marine notes, water fruit, and it's salty with minerals. Then I got Commodity Milk. This is one that was my choice. So I have smelled Commodity Milk before, but I smelled one of their other concentrations and I heard this one was like super popular. Um, yeah, this just says Commodity Milk. So this one has cold milk accord, musk, warm marshmallow, woods, and tonka bean. It is sensual, it's warm, it's inviting. It does have that like, sticky sweet marshmallow smell that I absolutely love. This is phenomenal. If you love a good marshmallow scent but something like Love Don't Be Shy which is a little too intense for you, too much of the orange blossom, definitely try Commodity Milk. And then this one is by Aqua de Parma. Um, I'm actually very familiar with Aqua de Parma but I don't recall smelling this one or maybe I just overlooked it but this is Magnolia Infinita. Um, this is one that they sent to me, and when I say I am obsessed with this, I'm definitely adding this one to my collection as well. Like, out of everything that I was sent today, number one, I have to get Less Than Paradise. This one is second. Then it would be Commodity Milk, and then probably the Ocean Odyssey one, even though I, I do really, really like that one. It's just they're all good, and I'm glad that they were able to decipher my taste and send me other fragrances aside from the ones that I picked that also aligned with my taste. So this one is a floral fragrance, which you know, I'm not the biggest floral fan. I'm, I mean, I don't dislike floral fragrances. I'm just very picky when it comes to a floral. So this one has bergamot, orange, jasmine, sambac. I don't really know like how you say that, but it's jasmine. Magnolia and musk. You guys, like <laughs> I am obsessed. Literally can't get enough. Oh, and I can just smell the lust in paradise and I'm just, oh. <laughs> I'm on cloud nine. Get you a Scentbird subscription. Don't be a fool. Make sure you check out the link to their website. It's gonna be linked down below in my description box or you can click the QR code and use code PRINCESS to get 55% off of your first month. That's literally about $8 for your first month. That's too good to be true. Don't say I didn't put y'all on. You can thank me later. This is my attempt at a day in the life vlog. I really have to buy one of those little stand thingies that I can clip my phone to in the car because this is dangerous but I'm a very good driver driving with one hand so yeah we're gonna see how this goes um I never really do like a day in the life type vlog because I tend to forget throughout the day um it's easy when you're just like instagramming or a little tiktok it's just like a quick little snapshot but vlogging requires more work but I'm actually gonna try because I love watching vlogs um I love like making vlogs and like seeing it when it finally comes together so Hopefully y'all can um, hold me accountable. If you like the vlogs, then we can do more of these. But yeah, so I just went down south to do a photo shoot um, for this company that I am the brand ambassador for. Um, I'm heading back up to the office. I don't know if I'm gonna go to the office or if I'm just gonna go home to edit. 
Um, probably gonna grab you some Chipotle today. It's feeling like one of those kind of days, but then again, isn't it always one of those kind of days? Like, it's always a Chipotle type of day, come on. So, um, yes, I think that is what I'm going to do, but I will keep y'all posted when I get to my next destination. Hey guys. So first of all, I am in a really good mood today and I am having a really good day. Um, just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, but we had a little change of plan. So I went up to the office for a second and then I ended up just deciding I'm going to go home to edit today. So on my way home, I stopped at Advanced Auto Parts to pick up a package. And is that like a normal thing? Because I guess they just took my package to the closest drop-off location. And I guess they have like a USPS, I mean, UPS drop-off at Advanced Auto Parts. I don't know. So anyway, when I got my package, excited about that because it's a PR package that I have been anticipating. I've been meaning to come and pick this up for days, but I've just been so busy. I haven't gotten around to stopping by, but I'll show it to you when I get home. I can't wait. This is a product that has been sold out for so long. So I'm so happy that I was one of the first people they made sure to replenish and I'm going to have a giveaway coming soon for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned. It'll be on my TikTok, but yeah. But while I was in advanced auto parts picking up my package, the guy was like laughing at me because of my name. Like he had a hard time locating my package because he's like, you know, asking the address and like the name and everything. And he's like, it can't be this one. And he's like, blah, blah, blah. Like he starts saying a part of my address. And then he's like, he starts laughing and I'm like, what's funny? And he's like, oh, because I thought it was a guy. Like it says, so, you know, like, come on. Like, I don't know why. I mean, okay, I do know why. Like, I live in South Florida. Zoe, Z-O-E, is, like, something that Haitians call themselves. But at the same time, like, I don't understand why it's so hard for people to understand that that is also a woman's name. Like, that's a very... I mean, I won't say it's very common, but it's, like, why do people always see that and just automatically want to say Zoe? Like, never assume that it's Zoe. You know that Zoe Kravitz, the actress and the daughter of Lenny Kravitz and Lisa Bonet, her name is Zoe, Z-O-E, two dots over the E, Zoe Saldana, same thing, Z-O-E, two dots over the E, but for some reason it is so hard for people to comprehend that that is my name. It does not have to have a Y at the end for it to be Zoe because the two dots over the E, which is called an umlaut, makes it a long E. So that is how it is Zoe and not Zoe. Now, I'm not the type of person who gets mad when people don't put the two dots over my E. And of course, in systems like pulling up a package, it's not going to show two dots over the E. And if it did, they wouldn't know what the hell it meant anyway. So it's not like they'd properly pronounce it. But yeah, I wasn't really offended. I just thought that was funny, somewhat annoying, because when people see my name as Z-O-E, they assume it's a nickname. They assume it's short for something. They assume it's Zoe. Like, it is just so frustrating. And like I said, I'm not even a stickler about the two dots because I understand not everyone even knows how to attach that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know how because it's my name, but it doesn't show up that way in like certain systems or anything. But yes, that is my legal name. And my mother used to cuss me out for not putting the two dots over my E when I was in elementary school. I used to bring home spelling tests that were like 100%. I was so excited to show my mom and she'd be like, why are why don't you have your two dots over your e and this is gonna sound crazy but like i used to low-key be like kind of jealous of the kids who had common names like you'd have like an alexis s and an alexis b or michael a and michael j i don't freaking know and i used to feel some type of way that my name was never one of those redundant names looking back on it i'm like zoe what the hell like why would you ever want to share a name with someone else like I love how unique my name is and it took age and wisdom and maturity to appreciate my name but yes I love it now and I love everything about it I would never want to be spelled Zoe with a Y but yeah after my mom got me together and made me realize the importance of being unique I never let a day go by that I didn't put my two dots over the E I don't care if other people don't I don't mind it because like I said I understand that not everyone knows how to do it or what it means and a lot of times people think I just do it for freaking decoration but no it is a Greek name it means life and that's my little rant today now let's go get some Chipotle so that I can woosa a little bit <laughs> Love of my life. You know why I'm here. Got my Chipotle. I did a burrito today. I usually get a bowl, but I had to do a TikTok. And lately, I've really been filling burritos. And also because they just prefer watching me eat burritos. I think because it's messier and it's like big bites. But they love watching me eat my burritos on TikTok. So you always gotta keep it in mind what the people like to see too. But the burrito's really just been hitting lately on top of that, so it's a win-win. Y'all not getting no mukbang though, so mukbang, whatever. So if you want to see it, go to my TikTok. Finger looking good. 
y'all probably don't know this about me if you don't follow me on any other social platforms but i'm a chipotle addict have been my whole life like loyal for probably like 12 years now they just could do no wrong y'all remember when they were having like the e coli breakout and stuff like that people were like you're still gonna eat that i can't believe you eat chipotle still after all these years you're gonna get e coli i said baby we all gotta die someday at least i'm gonna go out doing something i love hello i die about that chipotle y'all just don't even know do you see why i suck at this why it's so hard for me to do vlogs because i always forget i didn't even update y'all on the rest of my day but we'll get into that later because i'm in a rush so i'm about to go do some more photo shoots for some more products for the company that i work with and today's scent of the day is from scentbird but my scent of the day is commodity milk it's a yummy yummy gourmand scent i'm obsessed i've actually smelled this one before but y'all definitely have to check out um the video where i talk about them because one of the scents they sent me is like my new favorite scent ever Yes, more than Astro Place by Bond number nine. Y'all know how much I love that scent. It is creamy and marshmallow sweet, like tonic. Oh, I stand. But I can't wait for y'all to see which one is my favorite. Okay, so I have no idea where we left off, but we're gonna unbox some of my PR packages. Um, I also have this one here from House of Sears that I already opened. And this is the um, Ruby Rain for men, and it smells divine so i'll give you guys a separate video on that but look at it it's so cute and it's just like the um batman fragrance that they made which is bomb if you've never smelled it look at how cute it is and then when you open like a lighter you can press the button so cool love that love little details like that but before I get into the other boxes, I want to share something special with you guys that I've been working on. So I partnered with Olfactory um, NYC. Is it? Yeah, Olfactory. I had to think, was it like Olfactive or whatever? Olfactory NYC. And they've actually been on my wish list for forever. Like I've always wanted to go when I'm in New York and I just never got around to it. So it was nice. They reached out to me and basically it's like you can create your own fragrance or whatever. So I was geeked because y'all know like... I live for this. So they send you like some base note fragrances. You pick your favorite and then they send you a couple of blends um, after that. But I wanted something a little extra. So I got my base. I got my blends and I was like, mm -mm, it's not it's not there yet. I have to give perfume princess energy. And I'm telling you, I got the final scent in this box. <sighs> I am obsessed obsessed i've been reapplying it spraying it on myself all day and it smells so good and i can't wait to give you guys all of the details oh wrong box let's see which one is it it's this one um but i can't wait until it's available because anyone can go into olfactory nyc and make a fragrance but um and you get to choose the name the color for your bottle all of that but my fragrance is actually going to be on their website and it's going to be available for you guys to purchase so i am geeked i am so excited and i can't wait to give you guys more details on that but this is the little vial here of my finished product and oh, i can still smell it <laughs> i can still smell it on my hand right now honestly i'm not even going to waste the juice I'm not gonna waste it. Reapplying it on top because I can literally still smell it. It's potent, it's gorgeous. It is me and a fragrance. And just to kind of give you an idea of like what it's giving, if you know, you know, Aster Place by Bond Number no. 9 is like my favorite fragrance and it's definitely giving me Aster Place vibes meets El de Absence by Louis Vuitton, which is another one of my absolute favorites, which that one is a lot more of like a calm, classy, you know slightly sweet but like soapy clean classy smell and it's just like the two of them combined gives me what i am picking up in this fragrance that i've created and i'm just in awe like i think it is absolutely stunning i am in love this is that this is that reaction i wanted to get um from the first set of blends and i just was like these are nice they're good but i'm like it's missing something and so i was like can we add this to it can we add that they're like no rush like let's let's go back to the drawing board and and come up with some more blends and baby 
this is the one right here i am obsessed so yeah i'm not gonna ramble too much about it but i literally can't wait for you guys to smell it and just see if you love it as much as i do because i have waited all my life for an opportunity like this and i can't wait god willing for the day when i not only have my own fragrance or a fragrance that i'm like partnering with but like my own fragrance my own fragrance house like lord if you hear me that's that's what i deserve <laughs> okay so this first box is um pr from a fragrance company called superb okay okay there we go and i am so excited to smell this because i have been anticipating this for so long Ooh, this is a big hefty box um but i know the owner he's a good friend of mine we grew up together and so of course oh, the packaging is not to be cliche but it's superb you feel me <laughs> um it says superb for men and look at that presentation oh absolutely stunning but yes i've been dying to smell this i always love to support black entrepreneurs entrepreneurs like oh my god this is gorgeous it's stunning and this is for men i don't know if i said that but yes it's superb for men and he does have a superb for women as well so i'm excited let's see what it's giving i need i think i have some extra tester strips in one of these boxes okay let's see an atomizer test Mmm, nice atomizer. Mmm. Oh, that's sexy. It's got a little kick to it, a little spice. It's definitely reminding me of something, maybe like a YSL fragrance. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. Okay, Blake. <laughs> okay, Pooper. Like, first of all, the presentation in itself should just sell you. Like, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's really, really sexy. I don't know if I'm smelling a little leather. Mm, that's really nice. And it's hefty. It's not like a cheap, flimsy plastic thingy. Like, this is real deal. Okay. But yes, I'm definitely going to give you guys a more in-depth um, breakdown about this one. So this isn't meant to be a review of anything. Um, kind of just going through what packages I got today or really over the past couple of days because this is stuff that has just been sitting that I have not gotten a chance to open. And this one, I know what this is because it's something else I've been anticipating. This is also from House of Siage. You know, they always come through with a gorgeous presentation. Ah, love it. I love House of Siage and I love what's in this box because I already know. If you follow me on TikTok or watch my videos enough, then you know I am obsessed with their scent amplifiers. Like, bro, I'm telling you, there is no amount of money anyone could pay me to make me say that I like something that I don't. And House of Siage doesn't pay me anyway. But when I say I'm like literally obsessed, I seriously cannot not include their perfume amplifiers when I'm putting on a fragrance. So, um, yeah, I hyped them the hell up on social media and a lot of people bought them. So they were sold out of their sensual collection for months. Like I had so many of my followers on TikTok like, oh, I love your recommendations. I really want to get the sensual box, but it's still sold out. Boy, do I have news for y'all. Guess what's back in stock. And on top of that... I am partnering with them to do a giveaway. So again, we're not gonna dig too much into all of that because it's just, you know, a little unboxing. But yes, definitely stay tuned. The um, giveaway will be hosted on my TikTok. If you're not following me on TikTok, what are you doing with your life? Perfume princess, get with it or get lost, okay? But yes, the giveaway will be held on my TikTok and I'm going to be giving away two of them to two lucky winners because this is the truth i'm telling you it's like they're so good i don't even like to compare them to other fragrances but i do like to compare them to other fragrances just so that you guys can understand how they smell or get an idea of how they smell without actually having to smell them so for me this red one which kind of makes sense this one reminds me of 
something in the family of lost cherry but to me it's personally sexier it's less medicinal even the names of the amplifiers in this set are all like very sensual and arousing given that it's literally the sensual collection but this one is called erogenous and the amount of combinations I have done with this. Oh, I'm just so happy it's back in stock. And I'm literally, with my own money, going to go buy another one just to make sure that it does not sell out again before I can get some. Because I've been out of this just as long as all of you guys have been unable to purchase it because it's sold out. But I have like three of their wellness collection ones because I love those as well. But I feel like this one I've been missing so much because I've been without it for so long. I think the silver one and the black one, which the silver is self-pleasure and the black one is foreplay honey those are like just so unique I don't really think I could compare them to a fragrance but this gold one which is endorphin release reminds me of gentle fluidity gold so I will put this on and put gentle fluidity gold on top of it and chef's freaking kiss okay this whole collection is just to die for and same with the wellness collection like there's there's a cake batter um buttercream icing vanilla scent in that one there's one um that's my absolute favorite in a white bottle and it's called, ooh, what is it called? Clean Rejuvenation. And it's in that Baccarat, Greenwich Village, Tribeca kind of family. Like it's not, it's not really Baccarat, I'd say it's more Greenwich Village, Tribeca, both by bond number nine than Baccarat. But it's like, it can layer well with any of those type of scents. It's a little bit more woody, very fresh and clean. Oh, I absolutely adore it. I love Clean Rejuvenation. Like literally all of them are amazing. Like I could go on and on about all of them, but they're so potent. I can put these on my skin with no fragrance and this will literally last me all day and perform just like a fragrance. So it's a great substitute if you're not the type of person who really likes to like really dig into fragrance. And I think it's affordable depending on how you view the pricing of fragrances and what you're willing to invest in because these are $125, but $125 for for fragrances I personally don't think that's bad and because you take like a couple little drops of it you know you're not just like burning through it but I can't wait for the day when they make each of them in like deluxe sizes so that if you have a favorite you can just get like a big bottle of that perfume amplifier house of siage like let's get that in the works because I need a big bottle of all of them so yeah this will probably be my last couple segments of the day i'll try to record today but tomorrow i'm going to michigan and i'm going to do a separate vlog for that so um i don't want this to kind of overlap i'm gonna have to end it somewhere <laughs> but like i told y'all in the beginning i love scent bird and i'm so happy that i can take these scents with me when i travel because it's my chef's kiss so convenient and they're jumbo samples so literally couldn't be better nothing feels better than this hey guys um it's much later in the day it's actually two o'clock in the morning but i have been running around like a chicken with my head cut off um running errands i told you guys i'm about to go to michigan so my flight leaves at seven in the morning which means i have to wake up at five in the morning i live pretty close to the airport so it's literally like a 10 minute drive i'm just gonna uber but yes i'm literally so tired and i have had no time to pick up my phone i have been washing clothes and packing and trying to film videos that's literally why i'm in my closet um, I just filmed a couple of TikToks, did a couple little brand videos and stuff like that. And y'all, I am just so tired. Like, I'm so tired. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to come back on here and fill you guys in and wrap up this vlog. I will be vlogging when I get to Michigan. Hopefully I can stay on top of it. But um, since I'll be leaving in the morning, I wanted to kind of end this one here. Maybe I'll show you guys more in depth once I get to Michigan. I will show... Actually... I'm gonna show y'all right now. I'm gonna show you how I packed my fragrances um, for this trip. I used like I bought the the oils and I packed a few of them to take with me and then I have like a bunch of like sample not even sample but travel sizes because it's very rare that I travel without checking a bag but since I'm only going for the weekend I just downsized everything I'm like it's no point in paying to check a bag and I'm just gonna be there for three or four days so let me go grab that and I'm gonna show you guys what I packed okay so I just have this little Dior bag that I got a while ago as like a little gift with purchase um, so I like to keep my fragrances in here and I have the inappropriate named oil. Actually, I can just put it back in here. There's the oxygen. The one I said is like unisex, fresh and clean. Um, 
I have two blends of my custom fragrance that I cannot wait to share with you guys. I love it so much. I had to pack it. I can't wait to bring it home and let my friends smell it and get their opinion. Um, I packed Born Dreamer. This is a scent that was sent to me. Uh, Charlie D'Amelio, the um, TikToker, she made a fragrance and it actually smells really good. It's kind of like, sorry I cut off, but the Born Dreamer is like an Ariana Grande cloud type of fragrance. This is Dreams by Mariah Carey. I have my Scentbird fragrances in here as well as my YSL Libre Intense. So that's just some of the goodies that I packed. Um, it's just so convenient having travel size fragrances so you don't have to travel with your big expensive bottles. But that is all. Um, thanks for watching my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.